Hello, Narnag here. Welcome back to TIS 100. After last episode, I have been agonizing myself on how to further optimize the differential converter. And I've now managed to optimize two out of three metrics. We have perfect notes, perfect instructions, and cycles is not good enough yet. So let's jump in, let's start from uh, bottom to top. So instructions. The best score reported on Reddit is 240 cycles, 5 notes, 10 instructions, which as you see 240, 5, 10 is at least this this solution is equivalent metrics wise might not be the exact same way the other person solved it but it solves it in the same way so this, this is very economical with instructions so we do the uh, the goal of the of the mission here is to uh, write a minus b down here write A minus B down here and the trick that we've already figured out in previous videos is that if you just subtract B from A so if the, then you get the P value which is what you want and if you then negate it you get the value for N so you only need to subtract once to make it actually work so we use that trick here to do the subtraction all the way up the top here so the value from B only goes here we subtract it and then only one value has to be brought down and then here we store it in ACK we send the, the proper value down since that's A minus B which we need to write here then we negate it we move it to the right and we send it out here and the reason we do this in here is that uh, this way we don't have to buffer it on this side because if you want a faster solution something that runs closer to 200 cycles then you want to move the math out of this node and get the total cycle count for this node down so you want to maybe move something here or something there um, but in this case we can do it here since we already need to uh, accumulate it anyway to send a value down and to the right and this is how it works. So this is the, the lowest instruction count. Then we have a perfect note count. Again, same as uh, the Reddit score, 205.11. So here we are optimizing for note count, which the other one had as well. But we are willing to uh, lower the cycles at the expense of some of the instructions. The, the, the way the, the Reddit thread uh, tracks scores for equivalent levels is basically the metric that you're looking at has to be as low as possible and then for tiebreakers you multiply the other two values with each other so in this case um, you just try to get them as low as possible and then, then balance them for a bit and this is, is basically similar as, as the other one only rather than doing the negating part here and moving it down we actually moved some logic to the side so instead of having four cycles in this uh, node we only have three so we have now three here instead of one so we moved a little bit of work which shaved off those 40 cycles at the expense of one extra instruction that's basically what's happening here So, and then we have this one. I've been agonizing over this one. So the goal that I want to beat is 133 cycles as reported in the Reddit thread. Uh, by the way the, the Reddit thread I keep talking about I'm linking it in the comments so you can just go there and uh, start agonizing yourself if you are that competitive about this. So I started this one with a, a clean slate so I threw my old score out because I had 200 a cycle count of about 200 
and I knew that was not fast enough and I was kind of stuck with my approach so I just threw out all the instructions and uh, I started from scratch so I started analyzing okay M my other ones that optimize for node count and instruction count they try to get a very narrow pipeline so B goes to A, we do the subtraction, we send it down, we do the negation and we split it out so it's a really really tight loop which got us to 200 instructions but it was not uh, scalable. Every node was was basically, or the node here had three instructions, and it had three instructions here and three instructions here, and that was how it was at its limits, so to say. But we had two nodes that were basically doing uh, not a lot. They had one instruction in them, and here was a, an empty node as well. So let's take two steps back. How do you speed something up? when you can't speed up the operation itself you start doing it in parallel so you do it twice so that's exactly what I'm doing here with my current approach which is what I ended up on with the, the 183 I do the subtraction up here already so I take the, the value from up put it in ACK then the value from, from B goes in here and we subtract it and then we send it down. So A minus B goes down. But then we don't start we don't loop. We actually take the value from up and we queue it up to go to the right. Here we take the value from the left, subtract the next value, and we move that one down. So we have A minus B going here, and then the next A minus B goes down here. And we do it in parallel. So we take the, the up value, we store it, we send the raw value down, so that's the value for P, and we negate it, and we send that value down, so that's the value for N. So then the next thing we do, is we take the value that we get in, and we send it down, and then the next one we send it to the right. So the value for P, we just flush it, and the value for N, we send to the right, and then the first instruction here is to take the left value and write it down. So first time we do A minus B send it down once raw send it out second copy is the negation which is sent down to the right on the right side we do the same thing so once we got A minus B here we send it down we store it we send a copy from ACK we send it down which then gets sent to the left because remember this is A minus B which has to go to P so we send it to the left and chronologically oh no wait actually this one runs first chronologically this one is down there uh, maybe I should actually just do it like this maybe this is a, a better way to look at it so there, there's, there's two passes for this we have the, the left side pass and the right side pass so the right side after we've computed A minus B we send it down we take the value from up, send it to the left and we flush it then here we negate it and then we send it down again and then we have the end value so in this way we have two cores that are basically on and off on and off calculating the exact same values and negating it and, and doing all that kinds of stuff and this way all the cores are equally busy and we get 183 cycles using quite a lot more cores so I've been, been staring at this because the, the solution that that's the best solution on reddit is, is 133 cycles so that's 50 cycles faster than what I got which basically on the list of, of what is it, 40, 50 or 50 items that, that means that the entire pass through is, is one cycle less per input roughly which is uh, quite a lot so I, I need to improve something furthermore so there will be a follow up with I hope a, a perfect solution for this but until that I'll keep agonizing I'll keep you posted on improvements.
Thank you for watching.